If you have green water, it means you have free-floating suspended algae in your water. I'll tell you how to fix it, and then I'll tell you how to prevent it from happening. There, if you go to your fish store, they sell algicides. They're either in pill or liquid form. These will help to kill the algae that's been floating in the aquarium. Keep in mind that the same things that will kill the algae will also kill good algae, like you know stuff that's been growing on the rocks that the fish are consuming, and plants. So a lot of the, the chemicals that you find will be toxic to plants in the, in the aquarium. I like a more like homeopathic approach, dimming the lighting, doing some water changes, cleaning the filter, adding some beneficial bacteria to the tank, and basically starving the green algae. It's not harmful to the fish. The fish don't mind living in green water. In fact, most lakes and ponds, the water is naturally green. So the fish are okay, but if the tank is in you know, a prominent spot in your house and you're having guests over, or if it's in a waiting room in an office, obviously you need a quick, you know, rapid fix to this, this. And using algicides, or even better, using a UV sterilizer would be the best way. Some fish stores loan out UV sterilizers. You buy it, it comes with a pump, it hangs on your tank, or it's submersible, and within a few days your water will be crystal clear. You can also use a diatom filter to filter out green algae in the water. But the best thing is prevention. You know, using the pills and dimming the lights and doing water changes will get rid of the green water, but the goal is to keep it from coming back. And whatever caused it the first time is probably going to keep causing it in your particular aquarium. So what causes green algae? Green algae growing in the water column means you have an excess of nutrients and or lighting. So most people that put their tanks directly in sunlight in a window are gonna get green water unless they're their aquarium keeping practices and their, their filtration is kept really clean and they don't overfeed, you're gonna get green water just because there's so much light energy hitting that water. You also don't wanna overcrowd and overfeed because when you have a lot of waste in the water, you're asking algae to grow. The al there's so much nutrients and so much energy available for growth that the, the algae no longer needs a substrate to affix to, it can grow directly in the water column. That's how much energy is being pumped into the, into the aquarium. So <clears throat> minimize direct sunlight, try to, if you can, move the aquarium away from a window and also don't leave your lights on 24 seven. This is another main contributor to green water. People use the aquarium as a night light. So the tank is getting indirect room lighting during the day or the aquarium light during the day and then at night they leave the light on as well. If you are forgetful and you travel a lot, put the light on a timer. Give it a set photo period of, of eight to 10 hours or even 12 hours if you want, but have darkness at night. That'll prevent the water from turning green and keep the water column clean. You know, do your water changes, add bacteria to the tank, and monitor your nitrates and phosphates. If you keep those levels low, it's gonna be a lot harder for algae to take root in the aquarium.